Hey everyone, welcome back to this edition of Rangler Pause. Today we're going to talk a little bit about Giardia. We did a previous video a few weeks back um, about Wrangler while he was going through Giardia and while we were trying to battle that. Um, so this is a little bit of an update there. He's Giardia free, spoiler alert, up front. He's Giardia free, so we're good on that front. Um, but we want to talk a little bit about uh, just how the Giardia happened, the things that we did and did not do that we should have done, um, the things that worked, didn't work, um, and just try to lay it all out to where we are now, uh, which is, I don't know, a month later in Giardia Free. Tell us a little bit about this guy right now and give us an update on the Giardia. Okay, so for those who don't know, he had Giardia twice. Um, he somehow reinfected himself we're not exactly sure how or what happened, possibly just going in the same area and like eating the grass or was it raw food? Like we, we don't know per se, like why he got it twice um, or even how he got it the first time. But after the first or after the second time, he did his medication, all of that. And like he started having diarrhea again. So we put him on the bland diet, like the vet said and he was doing so wait what was the bland diet i think that's probably important to know what was the bland diet we did chicken and rice chicken and rice yes so nothing brown much. brown rice or white rice white rice okay so we had shredded shredded chicken yes and white rice yes so that's what he was on while he had giardia no no that's not what he was on is that no. you're not saying that no after Giardia, when he got the diarrhea, he went on the bland diet. Gotcha. Okay, so that was post Giardia. Yes. And he was just having diarrhea. Yeah, and we thought, oh no, like, it, did he get it again? And so I was getting all stressed out again because, man, I mean, this dog took like 10 years off of my life in a matter of two months. No big deal, right? Dog mom life. Um, anyway, so he started having the diarrhea. I called the vet and it hadn't even been two weeks since he was off his medication. So we hadn't retested him or anything. And they're like, start him on a bland diet. And so, you know, I followed the instructions of like putting him on it for like three days of nothing but chicken and rice and then start transitioning him to kibble over the span of like a week. And so I did that, but his stools still, he wasn't having diarrhea at that point, but his stools were not solid. So when he was having diarrhea, how could you tell the difference between him having Giardia and him just having diarrhea because that's what he was having? How when could he you... had Giardia, it was like mucusy. Mm -hmm. But when it was just diarrhea, it was just kind of runny. Okay. But yeah, there was a distinct difference. Sorry for the details, but um, yeah, so there, there was a difference. So when we were just having diarrhea, I was like, okay, this doesn't look like Giardia, so we started the bland diet and the vet said, you know, wait the full two weeks then we'll retest him, all of that. So it was probably about two or three days before I was supposed to take him in for his two week stool sample to make sure that he had gotten rid of all of the Giardia. And he was almost done with the bland diet and his stools were still not solid. And so I called the vet and I talked to someone who was super sweet and understanding about the whole situation so no more vet shamed um and she told me that you know he was since he was gaining weight and like his stools were improving that it was up to me whether or not i wanted to go forward with getting him retested because she said after dogs have giardia especially when they have it a second time it can take a month or two for their stools to become solid again which was total news to me. I, I was sitting here thinking there was something wrong with him. But she's like, no, like the goal at this point is more like soft serve ice cream. If he's at that point and not having straight watery diarrhea, then he's totally fine. So for those who don't know, soft serve is okay after Giardia. Noted. We want the soft serve. <laughs> yeah. Um, he okay. is a soft serve machine. He was a soft serve machine. Yeah, he was. Um, okay, so... Then, so we got off the blind diet. I opted not to have him tested again to make sure that it was gone, but I kept a very close eye on his stools, unfortunately. And so we transitioned him. Hi, hi, little man. Whoop, little pup break. Pup break. Hey. Pup break. Hey, what's up? Yeah, yeah, you want your new toy? 
Okay, so we transitioned him to Origin Kibble, which he'd been on like half Origin, half raw meat since we brought him home. And y'all have seen how excited he gets with his food. If you haven't, check out some of our other videos because he's adorable and just jumps around and gets so excited for mealtime. When he was on straight uh, Origin Kibble, it was just another point in the day like he wasn't excited anymore he was super itchy he was drinking an obscene amount of water he was so dehydrated and so we ended up actually taking him off of it because we didn't like it he didn't like it so we transitioned him to the honest kitchen puppy blend and what is what is that puppy blend that he's on now it's like whole grain chicken and it's dehydrated kibble so it's supposed to be like cooked at a lower temperature for longer. It's supposed to like not kill all the nutrients and not have as many fillers in it. So he's done really well with it. His stools were, I don't know, six to eight weeks post Giardia. I'd honestly have to look at a calendar. Um, and sometimes his stools are solid. They're mostly solid. And you know, sometimes they just like, they come out and they just kind of stick to the grass a little bit, but they are formed. So we're still not perfect. And I don't know if that's the food or the Giardia, but he's healthy. He's finally gaining weight for the first time in his life because for a while there, we were very concerned that he was very skinny, uh, but he was eating. And now he's actually gaining weight. He's 40 pounds y'all. And so we're just gonna keep him on this. He likes it, he gets super excited again. We add a little bit of uh, shredded chicken on top because I heard that there's the carb to protein ratio in Honest Kitchen is not perfect per se. So we add just a little bit of extra protein for him and, and it's going great. Um, so as far as, you know, Giardia update, I mean, that's it. It's just, it's a long process. And while you're in the middle of it, you kind of feel like you did your dog wrong and like just you're not sure what to do and will they ever get better especially if they get it a second time you're gonna be like wow i'm a failure but there is a light at the end of the tunnel <laughs> hang in there um so yeah i mean that that's where he's at y'all i mean he's healthy and happy and going to town on this bone and i see blood so maybe we're gonna lose the last canine today because he still is ripping clothes what's she what you got Let's see your little canine. Let's see the little canine. There it is, the last little canine. It's gonna fall out soon. Sucker needs to go. His adult canine is right in front of it. I can't believe it's hung on this long. But that's the last little canine that has to go. All right guys, well that's it. Um, this, that's the Giardia update. You just gotta really press through it. You gotta try some different things, bland diet. Um, change your kibble. Yeah, if it's not working. Find, find the food that works for you. And work with your vet, honestly. Work with your vet. That helps out quite a bit. They're the experts. Um, but yeah, that's the, that's the Giardia update. So hope you enjoyed the video. If you like it, consider giving it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, consider leaving a nasty comment down below. Um, that's fine as well. And uh, if you have any more suggestions about uh, uh, videos we should make, just let us know.